Day. We're just gonna get home, put our things away, start the laundry, and do a little bit of self care routine. But right now, we're on our way to Chipotle to grab some lunch because it's one of the only options around here that we haven't already eaten while we've been here. So we're gonna grab that and then hit the road. That's right. We had free birds, not Chipotle. Yeah, we had free birds yesterday and we had <laughs> your pie the day before, and we had Cineholic. Sorry, you had me for a moment when you was like, we haven't eaten there before. My brain was like, we had burritos yesterday, but it's like, wait, nope, it's not the same. I think this one's yours because it's bigger. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh my god, have you tried that? The coffee? No. Put the coffee in your face right now. We'll see. Oh, that's holiday. That's holiday right there. Vanilla toffee nut. That's real nice. All right, time to hit the road. Okay, we're about an hour from home and we want to so we're going to try this peppermint chocolate cookie taste test. No, it was good though. It was amazing. I can't decide how I feel about it. I feel like the mint is too sharp. See, I like that. Here have actually been staying a little bit longer. I 
as you can see, like some places it's kind of curled and other places it's kind of fallen. Same on this side, there's like this down here that's still kind of curled and then this over here that's kind of like fallen a little bit. And then I have this that's like still a pretty tight spiral. So, but over the week it gets pretty tangled right now. It is, it is fairly tangly. So, I don't know if this is the stuff that I'm gonna continue doing forever, but because I'm in the process of recovering and re-moisturizing my hair, I have been using a hair mask every single week. So I'm gonna put my hair mask in. Right now I just have the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydrating Mask. I kinda just grab whatever mask that I can find at like Target really. And I do put it on my hair dry. I know that some people do masks when their hair is wet. I put it on my hair dry and I leave it in my hair while I'm shaving. So I'm actually gonna flip it over because that's easier for me. I'm gonna have to buy some more because I am scraping the bottom right now. I really try and make sure to get the ends the best. Although I feel like my ends have been recovering really well and up here in my hair not so much, so. Okay. And that's the rest of that. Okay, now I'm gonna replace the blade in my safety razor because it needs a new one. I slip the old blades into here. And then I've got new blades ready to go. Got a huge pack of new blades. So I'm not gonna run out for years. I could honestly probably change them more often, but I only change them when I feel like I need to. New blade, pop that in there. Easy peasy. And while I'm in the shower, I'm gonna use this Everyday Shea Lavender Shaving Cream. I recently started using these shaving creams that aren't like really old school shaving creams. They're just like moisturizers. And I feel like they work a lot better with the safety razor. I tried to use Lush's shaving cream, but I kept getting my safety razor clogged. So I switched to using these and it works really well. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of the Unicorn Shimmer Acure Color Wellness Shampoo to wash my roots. And then I'm gonna use this Acure Unicorn Shimmer Conditioner. And I'm gonna use my wet brush to brush that into my hair. And then when we get out, we'll wring out my hair and I'll show you what products I put in it after I get out of the shower. And for my body soap, I just have this like tropical coconut bar that I got at Whole Foods. And for face wash, I just have this charcoal face wash. I'm sorry, I don't remember what brand either of these bar soaps are. I just picked them up at Whole Foods. I'm also gonna put on some holiday jazz, some chill Christmas. I think if you search chill Christmas on Apple Music, you can actually find my playlist and you can follow me and look at all of my public playlists. Let the self-care Sunday night begin. And once I wring it out as well as I can, I put this Revive Lush in it. This stuff, I ran out of one time and literally my hair was not the same. It tangled up the next day. I cannot live without this stuff, it's amazing. Next, I add this curl activating cream. Now, I'm gonna go put my hair in a cloth and I'll be right back. I keep 
a little nail brush next to my sink so that I can get all of the hair goo from underneath my nails. After the plop, I'm gonna add this to the ends of my hair, a little bit of hair oil, and it has done wonders for the frizz. But since I just got out of the shower and I just washed my face, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my moisturizer. I use this Dreamy Youth Day and Night Face Cream Pacifica brand. It is amazing, it feels so nice on my skin. chill my hair while I go make some dinner and and when I come back I'll show you all taking out the plop putting the hair oil and what it looks like We're doing leftover night because we've got a bit of the mushroom gumbo left and a little bit of the wrapped tofu left, so. Okay, I took my contacts out after I ate dinner because I'm getting really tired and I want to go relax on the couch for a little bit before bed. My partner is playing video games and I was gonna play with him, but I am too tired, so I'm gonna probably just end up sitting on the couch and watching TV, but. I'm gonna take my hair out of the plop so that it can air dry for a bit. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this Moroccan Argan Oil Repair Serum. I just put a little bit on my hands, rub it together, and then kind of scrunch my hair just so I can get it on the ends. I have like so much more hair on this side than this side so like I can feel the weight difference. And yeah, from here I let my hair air dry because I don't have a diffuser or a blow dryer that blows cold air. And I haven't really used heat on my hair for a few years. I did see on TikTok the other day, this brush that I used to have, you can take it and brush sections of your hair and it like really helps with your curls, but I don't have that brush anymore. And like, I guess I wasn't using it right when I did have it, so I really wanna get a new one, and at this point I would do that, but since I don't have it, this is, this is all I've got right now. I would really love to find a more sustainable curly girl method, so one that I'm not going through like plastic containers, stuff like that, I know with the Lush I can bring these back. And I think they have curling cream. I might try that next time. I don't know if they have any hair oil that's like this that you put in your hair after you shower. I know they have like the hot oil treatments, but I don't know if they have anything like that. So I'll have to check that out. I also don't know if they're taking these containers back right now because of Rona. So I will have to look into that. But like I said, I want to find more sustainable curly girl method products. I have tried a lot of Lush's shampoos and conditioner bars and I don't like them. They don't really work for my hair. Some of them make my hair really, really dry and some of them like just don't, the conditioners don't detangle my hair and they, they're they very difficult for me to use because I have so much hair. So if you guys know anything about sustainable Curly Girl Method products, please leave it in the comments below. That would be so helpful, especially conditioner because that bottle that I showed you guys I go through one of, I go through two of those bottles a month of conditioner. That means I'm going through one bottle every two showers because my hair is literally so freaking long and when I'm trying to brush it out, they're like, when I'm trying to brush it out, the curly girl method is like, if you get to a really bad knot, like add a little bit of conditioner and like do that to try and like 
brush it out and so I end up using a lot of conditioner which has been super helpful for my hair my hair is feeling a lot better it's not as frizzy but it has not been good for um, you know waste and money and stuff like that so please leave your curly girl method vegan curly girl method approved sustainable brands down below and that's about all I do for self-care Sunday every week. Sometimes I will take baths after I shower. While my hair is in the plop, I'll take a bath for an hour or so and read and hang out. And sometimes I'll play video games. But, you know, we were out of town this weekend. I'm super tired now, so I just want to go lay on the couch and either watch a Christmas movie or watch probably more like watch TLC tiny home shows or interior design shows because I'm really into that lately. But I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a vlogmas day. Like this video if you liked it and I will see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day 15. Bye y'all!